and getting to the outside of the pot. All right, what we want to do is we're going to take our thumb or our finger and we're going to come up about a, a half inch on the pot and then we're going to push in approximately where the table is, right about equal with each other. And we're going to push in right there and lift and leave that little curly cue of clay right here. There's like a little curly cue of clay right in here because that's going to become the, uh, the rim of the pot. So we've got this little sweeping motion up into the pot and then we're going to first pull up the wall of the pot. Okay. A little more water on the subject. I'm going to do that again. Now, I've got the beginnings of a plate. Okay, keep the water out. One more time, full time seat. All right, we've basically got the plate going here. Now what we're going to do is remeasure to make sure we've got the table at the right at the right width. Came in a little bit on it, so we're going to push it out to the came to the table. Get this out a little ways here. Make sure we can get our nine-inch thing in here. It's getting pretty close now. Okay, one more time, and we'll get it. got that nine inch spot right there to the end. Let's double check it to make sure that we're right. If it's right in there, good. Okay, then we're gonna come back over here. And we're gonna cut away a little bit of the trim around the uh, bottom of this uh, plate, just because we don't need that amount of clay there anymore. So we'll get a good start on a trim. So I'm just coming right down to where the, the foot goes down to the wheel head here. And I'm taking that clay away. Yep. And now before anything else happens, I'm gonna strap the rim of the pot because once it starts to get down, we won't be able to do it again. So we're gonna make this nice round rim here. A shaping tool and then with our finger and lots of water we're gonna set the rim down now you all know that that plates curl up on the edges because they're thin so you want to try to make this as flat as possible but without going downward. Just a flat, flat rim. And then we're gonna take all this water out of here. We're gonna get rid of some of the rough spots, just no, not a swirl necessarily. And then what I do to finish my plates is I put two fingers together and I run the nail along the edge. And I clean this up. What we have is, we have a plate. Now, before a little bit of time goes by, we're gonna cut this plate off the wheel head. So that we will be able to start another one. Need a wire tool. This off the wheel head just a straight cut. And that's it till it starts to dry. We'll take some more pictures of it as we go along. But here we go. Plate. Plate. Okay, so we'll do this whole process one more time. 
got a large bat. When you, for some of you guys that are just starting or or have some questions about these bats, uh, when I originally started, I threw pots directly on the wheel head. But the problem is, is lifting. The, I don't care how good a lift you are. When you lift that pot, unless it's really thick, it's going to bend. So you don't really want it to bend. So the way we stop doing that is we use these bat systems. On this bat right here, you can see that there's a large hole, sort of an oval hole, and a round hole. We've made the mark on the wheel for our other bat system to designate this as the point to where we want to put the big hole every single time, or the arrow matching arrow. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the bat at the big hole and let it fall down here just by laying it up there getting it at the one postie in the space and that other postie drops right down. Now here's our bag of clay. We're going to get into this bag of clay right here. And we're going to cut off let's see it's a big bag of clay. Then we need a three and a half pound piece cut. Let's see how good I am, if I'm any good here. See, that comes out, no, no, no air bubbles, no nothing. We'll set this on our scale. Gosh, I missed it by only two ounces. Put a couple ounces on here, just a little bit. Now you've got it. Cover your clay back up. You don't want your clay drying out. It's hard to throw when it's dry on one side and wet on the other side. Okay, so we've got our clay weighed out now. It's exactly three, three pounds and a half or 3.8 ounces. I don't deal in kilograms. I guess if I wanted to, I could. Let's see, these grams here, about 600 grams. Is that possible? Hey, we're getting our surface prepared and slightly tacky. We're going to take our clay again. Just fool around with it for a little bit to get it into a ball shape. Try not to add any air to your ball. This takes a minute. Okay, we're going to get away any of those little wrinkles on the bottom and we're going to this on the wheel. Now we're going to do this in regular time. You ready? Coning. Crushing. This bat's got a little chatter in it. This pot really well. Coning. Pull to you. Down it goes. Okay, now I'm going to make a large grapefruit or melon section. 3.25 pounds of clay. Okay, we're going to drop the hole. That action with the flat finger and dropping a hole still makes everything centered. You check the base again. Maybe a hair fat, but we'll pull that out as we start to open. Okay, now we're down at the bottom and we're going to start to pull straight back. The floor is coming out.